Hey guys, so today's video is a little bit different. I'm taking you with me to my friend Greg's skin clinic. And Greg and I met, we used to work together in the skincare industry, and now he does his own, he's an esthetician, he has his own studio where he does celebrity facials, and he really teaches the client about how to take excellent care of their skin. So I thought I would have him share with you one of his facials and some of his tips. So first thing we're gonna do is actually cleanse your skin. Okay. Uh, and we're gonna do it twice. And the reason that we do it twice is the first step we wanna do is make sure we're taking off any you know, makeup or powder that the client has on. And then the second step will actually go in and cleanse your skin. And I recommend this at home too. If you're, if you're wearing makeup during the day that you use like a milky cleanser or a makeup wipe to actually take your makeup off, that way your cleanser can actually get to your skin and cleanse your skin. So now what I'm going to do is a light enzyme foam. This is a brightening cleanser. So this will actually cleanse a little bit more of the skin since now that we've got the makeup off. It's really light and fresh. And then I'll take it off with the ultrasonic spatula. Like I've been using this for years and um, it's really great for cleansing because it just adds like a really, really light layer of exfoliation to whatever you're doing. toner. What toner does is it balances out the pH of the skin because typically your cleansers are going to change that. Uh, balances out the pH is going to remove any excess residue on the skin and it's also going to help prep the skin for your next step and will actually in increase the absorption of any serums or moisturizers you put on the skin. There's two types of microdermabrasion. There is crystal microdermabrasion and diamond tip microdermabrasion. The crystal microdermabrasion, and I think you've probably had this, the one that shoots out, mm -hmm. shoots out the little crystals. Yeah. It's almost like, like you would power wash like a house. Right. Uh, it power washes your skin. And then you have to use a good amount of suction to like suck the crystals back up off the skin. I like the diamond tip. I'll show you the little tip because you can control, um, there's all different levels of grit depending on skin type and experience, and you don't have to use quite as much suction because a lot of skins don't do really well with suction. Uh, if you have like broken capillaries or super sensitive skin or older thin skin, you don't want to like jack up the suction because it can just make it worse. So I like this because just a little bit of suction will pick up the dead cells and there's no residue on the face. brush is a great way to kind of duplicate an at-home spa experience. You'd be surprised at how luxurious it feels when you brush it on. Okay, so this is about dry and done all of its job, so let's go ahead and remove that. I like to use a hot towel that's been soaked in water and a little bit of essential oil just for a little aromatherapy benefit. You can do this in a bowl with hot water and your own towel. Just drop a couple of drops of essential oil in. Don't microwave the water or the bowl or the towel. It will get too hot. Just use hot water. Trust me. Found that out the hard way. <laughs> Go ahead and do the oxygen. Yes. What this does is it actually filters ambient air in and turns it out into 98% pure hyperbaric oxygen. So what I've put in here is a little bit of um, serum and toner mixed together. So it's going to help to tighten the pores, hydrate, even out your skin tone, but it'll force it into the skin really, really deep. We get a great penetration of the serum, and then the oxygen will just like be very healing to the skin, help with congestion, and also lend itself to a lot of vibrant C. Serum, moisturizer, and sunscreen.
well, let me give you a little bit of 411 about yours truly, so you know. Uh, I have been in the beauty industry for nearly 20 years and a licensed esthetician for 